What up crew, it is Magic Monday and man, I have a fantastic quote for you today. Honestly, I feel like I could just live by this one. This is by Farrah Gray. It says, build your own dreams or someone else will hire you to build theirs. Words to live by right there. And now today I have a nice little minty trick for you. Can I describe tricks like that? I don't know, but it's a nice little trick. So let's do it. All right guys, so check this out. Boom, we have a deck selected. And like most card tricks, we wanna start off by taking the deck right out of the box. From this point, I wanna hand the deck over to the spectator and allow them to shuffle the deck as much as they would like, as long as they don't go overboard and just take 10 years. There we go, that should be more than enough. Now I'm gonna take the deck back from the spectator and I'm gonna go ahead and find my lucky card. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I got my, so it's actually right here, perfect. I'll take my lucky card, put it over to the side for now. At this point, I'm gonna have the spectator go ahead and cut about half the deck. Let's just say right here. And now they're gonna be holding this half in their hand. Now I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna take my lucky card, put it face down on top. So we have my lucky card face down and the rest of the cards are all face up. I'm gonna have the spectator do something similar. They're gonna turn this over and put it right on top. So now we have face up cards. We have my lucky card, which is face down. And then we have face up cards again. At this point, I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm gonna spread this out to reveal my lucky card. So you can see my lucky card right here is the four of spades. Pretty cool trick. Yeah, okay, I'm just kidding. That's not, that's not actually a trick. Now this card is sandwiched between two cards, right? One of the cards will actually be the value of this card and the other card will be the suit. So we're looking for a value of four and we're looking for a spade. So if we look here, we see the value of four. And if we look at this card, we see that it's a spade. So my lucky card was sandwiched right between these two cards. Okay, everyone, welcome to the tutorial. Before I actually go ahead and break this down, I wanna give a huge shout out to my friends at Cardistry Addict for actually sending me this deck. If you guys don't know about them, I'll put a link to their website down in the description. They have a great selection of cards and you should definitely go support them and check them out. Now a little bit of background on this effect. This trick is actually known as My Lucky Card by Bill Simon. And it's a very, very easy self-working trick. So let's go ahead and uh, break it down. So check this out. This is gonna be a super quick and easy to understand tutorial. You wanna start off by handing the deck over to the spectator and having them shuffle it as much as they'd like. This just makes them feel like they have some kind of control in life, even though the control is zero. All they're really doing is shuffling a deck of cards which you'll manipulate anyway. So once they're done shuffling the deck, they hand it right back to you. And now you're gonna tell the spectator that you're gonna find your lucky card. Now your lucky card, of course, is not actually your lucky card. It's a combination of the suit and value of the card here on the bottom and the card here on top. So the combination of suit and value can now either be king of clubs or five of hearts, whatever combination you prefer. So let's just go with um, five of hearts. So you go ahead, look for the five of hearts. If I can find it, five of, there it is. You take that card out, you put it face down. And from this point, the trick is completely self-working. You have the spectator go ahead, cut off half the deck, hold it in their hand. And as they're doing this, you turn this over. You tell the spectator, I'm gonna turn this over and take this card, put it face down here. Now you have a couple of options. You can turn it over completely and show them this card. Or as what I like to do is as I'm turning this over, I just put this on top because I just don't want them looking at this card. Completely up to you. And then I just show the spectator, I have this card face down on top. The rest of the deck is face up. And now I want them to turn their packet over and put it right on top as well. So now if you take a look, that card will be sandwiched. Your five of hearts, I believe, will be sandwiched between the five of clubs and the king of hearts. So all you're doing, boom, squaring all that up, turning it over doing a ribbon spread, saying the card is located between two cards, one that'll signify the value, the other that'll signify the uh, suit. You can turn it over or have them turn it over. The more they interact, the better. And there you go, five of hearts, mind blown. I do wanna quickly cover an instance where the card on the bottom and the card on the top are of the same value or of the same suit. In that case, what I'd recommend is when you get the deck back from the spectator, here you can see I have a three of clubs and a, a six of clubs. Now, of course, we can't mix and match suit and value because we have both clubs. So I'd recommend just giving the deck a cut 
and then chances are you'll see a different suit and value. And then you can continue as normal. So I just thought I'd cover that in case anyone runs into that situation, which actually may be pretty likely. So I'm glad I covered it. Thanks again to Cardistry Attic for sending me this mint deck. Make sure you guys go ahead and support them. I'll put their link down in the description. And once you've done that, go ahead and check out that video. I'll be waiting for you there. Peace out.